The following portion of My Carolina is sponsored by... Well, many of us know we need some help when it comes to taking care of our bodies, especially chiropractic care. But where do we start? We're joined again by Dr. Lindsay Muma, the owner of Triangle CRC, to learn more about chiropractic care in different stages of life. Dr. Muma, welcome back. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me again. Yes, as always, we're talking about taking care of our bodies. So, do you have a reason? When should we, first of all, let's, let's start there. When should we start thinking about chiropractic care in our bodies? Whenever you want, okay. honestly. Good so a lot of people think that you need to have a reason to go see a chiropractor. Like yeah. you wait until something happens. Mm -hmm. But we're actually really great at preventive health care. So kind of intervening before something becomes a problem right. is a really great opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, and we actually are, are able to help in all different stages of life. So we've already talked about prenatal and postpartum mm -hmm. chiropractic care and that's super necessary because the body's going through a ton of changes. But right. there are other times during your life when your body goes through a ton of changes. And so that's where people are sometimes confused by the idea of a chiropractor taking care of a baby right. or taking care of kids or taking care of elderly population. Mm -hmm. But we can intervene in all of these places in ways that we simply are helping the body to move better. So anytime. Good. Okay. So do you, you, I'm guessing you don't have to have a reason then to come and visit you. It's just simply preventative measures. Yeah. So when you come into our office, any of our chiropractors will do a full physical exam. So we're making sure that things within your body are all working well. And we're right. kind of ruling out some red flags. But then what we do that sort of sets us apart from any other healthcare practitioner that you might be seeing is we're checking in on how are you moving in this gravity environment because you know until Elon Musk takes us <laughs> off planet we're here right and so we've got to figure out how to move appropriately in this environment right. and so that's what we're checking in with we want to see like how do you transition from being on one leg to being on the other and what does it look like if you squat or can you crawl and checking in on these different milestones that all humans have to reach mm -hmm. but some people skip those yeah. you know people say oh well I never crawled and it's not that big of a deal but we actually do need those movement milestones to have Happen within our body for our brain development for our physical development right. and so we'll check in with those things and we'll see like how does it look for you to kneel how does it look for you to be able to to move around and so we're doing the same type of uh, assessment with a child as we do with adults but we just want to see like what what is your body moving and ha and and how is it communicating with us that things are going well or things are not going well and if they're not going well it might not hurt yeah but we can help you move a little bit better, which Adjust. helps you feel better. Yeah, yeah exactly. absolutely. Uh, I think something that we always go back to is all of these things sort of work together. So mm -hmm. from birth all the way to adulthood, we are either growing or making things worse um, the older that we get. So yeah. it's important to have somebody like Triangle CRC that we can go to and get this help from uh, so that we can continue to develop in the proper way. Yes. Yeah. So with babies, for example, so sometimes uh, a baby will prefer to only look to one side and that's perfectly normal if your baby is under six weeks old okay so up to six weeks they will have a side where they prefer and they just kind right. of hang out looking a little bit more to the left or the right but then after six weeks we need to see babies being able to move in full ranges of motion mm -hmm. and if they're not then they probably won't roll as much to that side and if they don't do that then they're not getting the muscle pull which actually creates their skeletal development Wow. so that's crucial that yeah. a baby would be able to have that sort of range of motion and so we can work with infants on what's their rolling pattern what's their crawling pattern right. and then are they able to actually get themselves ambulating on both sides mm -hmm, equally mm -hmm. and if they're not then we can intervene there and then the same thing when we get to toddlerhood so the, you know those first two years of life there's just rapid development right. that's happening it's happening in the brain and the body but then once we're out of that you know uh, Dr. Mackenzie Smith she's one of our chiropractors she has this passion for taking care of youth athletes and so as athletes are developing like they're learning kicking and running and yeah. different skills are they moving appropriately through their ankles and knees and hips and through their spine and through mm -hmm. their shoulder? And, and we can help make improvements there, which actually like will encourage more athletic participation, which then helps you to be a more active adult. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so going back to a little bit uh, for the baby part, when would you suggest a parent take a baby to see you? Is it when they're first developing? Is it when you're noticing that they're not twisting their neck as much? Is there a certain sign to look out for? So if you do see some asymmetry, that's a really great time to go and visit a chiropractor. Um, but in general, you know, like I uh, just saw a newborn today and he's a month old. It's my second time seeing him. He came in wow. at two weeks and, and he was having a little bit of trouble, trouble with nursing. And so we did some interventions. We can work with the sutures within the cranial structure. We can work on some soft tissues within the mouth and help 
help them have a better nursing relationship. Yeah. So then I saw him again today and he's doing really, really great. And so just checking in like, okay, well, I'd like to see you in a couple of weeks, make sure things are going well. And then we usually check in as they reach new milestones. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So from babies to older age, mm -hmm. what can you guys do at Triangle CRC to help the aging population? So as a, a patient is going from being a more active adult to kind of slowing down a little bit, but still maintaining a level of needing to move about and needing to be able to take care of themselves. That's really crucial that they have good movement right. because, you know, it takes about 130 degrees of knee flexion to be able to get in and out of a bathtub. Yeah. So if we can help you get better knee range of motion, <laughs> that helps you stay a more independent adult, right. which is hugely important as you are aging. Yep. One of know? the biggest things that adults or aging adults go through is having that independence taken away from them. Yes. So this is very crucial. Okay, Dr. Mumma, where can we go to learn more about what you guys do, set an appointment up or a consultation? Yep, always at trianglecrc.com or you can call 919-792-8682, but we'd love to uh, help you at any point in time in your in your journey on this yeah, world. Absolutely perfect. Dr. Mumma, thank you for being here. Thank you. The preceding was sponsored by